Live from the Breaking News and Weather Authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Maria Blau. Parents who have been waiting to get their youngest family members vaccinated against COVID-19 will finally have that chance. Children as young as six months old are now eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine. Brittany Smith shares what parents should know as vaccine appointments start popping up next week. Lacrosse teachers are continuing to ask the school district for a cost of living pay increase. The Lacrosse School District is offering a 2% pay raise, but teachers are pushing for a bump closer to 5%. The Lacrosse Education Association says the higher wages would be more in line with inflation increases. Teachers held a rally in Powell Park this evening to call for fair pay. It's time to make sure that our priorities are on the people who are making our school buildings run efficiently every single day. And in order to show that those people are the priority, you need to make sure that they're get, at least keeping up with the cost of inflation in their wages. The LEA and the school district will be heading to mediation in the next few weeks. A neutral third party will look at both sides and try to come to a fair agreement. The death of a man found in a ditch in the town of Clear Creek is now being investigated as a homicide. The Eau Claire County Sheriff's Office says the victim is a 46 year old from the Eau Claire area. Someone passing by on Mallard Road found the body Thursday morning. Deputies say there is no reason to believe the public is in danger. The Sheriff's Office is following up on leads and plans to release more information at a later time. A stolen car, a stolen bicycle and a car and foot chase all converged in Chippewa Falls and ended in an arrest today. The Chippewa Falls Police Department says the man seen in this picture was believed to be the driver of a stolen vehicle from Clark County. He was involved in a car chase with Lake Halley Police. Officers were able to stop the car in Chippewa Falls, but the driver ran from them. Police say they received tips that he was running through backyards and had stolen a bicycle. He was quickly found and captured. Police thank the community for its help in locating him. A new organization is starting up to help local law, law enforcement officers solve crimes. Today is the official launch of the Chippewa County Crime Stoppers. Tips are submitted anonymously to protect those providing them. The group is made up of eight members who are all volunteers looking to keep their community safe. The president of the organization says this is one way for communities, community members who want to, to help out. We have a great community here, but this is another way to expand on that, to get community involvement, because there are a lot of people who want to get involved, but up until today, there was just a call dispatch number that wasn't manned. Sullivan says instead of having tips sit in a queue for days, tips will be responded to almost instantly. A major move that could lower the skyrocketing prices at the gas pump. President Joe Biden says he's close to making a decision on whether to support a federal gas tax holiday. Cole Higgins has a look at what this could do to prices amid historic inflation. Later in Sports Scene 13, highlights from Milwaukee as the Brewers battle the Cardinals. First, a baseball coach shares his journey battling a rare condition and thanks those who helped him along the way. Last year, one Eau Claire man was given a one in a million diagnosis that made it hard for him to do what he loves. Today, as WEAU's Kim Lead Home shares, that man is hitting the baseball diamonds again and is thanking those who made it possible. Rouch says he's been coaching sports for over 40 years. As he continues his journey with stiff person syndrome, he says he won't let that stop him anytime soon. More heat, but lowering humidity as we head into the first official day of summer on Tuesday, while any rain chances continue to hold off until later this week. Chief Meteorologist Darren Meyer is in next with your Skywarn 13 forecast. Maybe some 70s again by later in the weekend. Boy, that will certainly feel nice, but plenty of pool weather and opportunity to enjoy heat this week. Honestly, it probably will feel kind of cold if we see 76 <laughs> or like the mid 70s after today and tomorrow. Well, thankfully, today was an extreme and an outlier. We don't typically see days this hot very often in the summer. Thankfully. <laughs> Thanks, Darren.
Coming up next in Sports Scene 13, a look back at Matt Fitzpatrick's win in the U.S. Open on Sunday. Plus, the Brewers and Cardinals battle for first place in Milwaukee tonight. Justice has the highlights from the game coming up next. After the heat and humidity of today, I'm sure a lot of us are hoping for a cool down. A little bit <laughs> for tomorrow. Just a little. Yeah, a little bit. I think still 90 is certainly within reach tomorrow afternoon. A little bit cooler than that. And I'm sure a lot of us are looking forward to that. Thanks, Darren, and thank you for joining us. Have a great night.